Hello guys, welcome back to Pause. Adam here and welcome to part 13 from World Discovery. This is our Epcot inspired World Showcase Park build here in Planet Coaster. So in today's episode we're going to go back to our log room and also the Mexican area but first I just wanted to show this brand new feature at the park entrance which is this amazing um, animated um, globe that has been made by Dead-Eyed Duck and uh, yeah it's up on the workshop on the theme, my, uh, theme makers toolkit and it's absolutely stunning. Um, so it now takes pride of place at the entrance to our park here in our fountain and it's absolutely amazing so thank you ever so much for Dead-Eyed Duck for this amazing asset that's up on the workshop. It's beautiful. Anywho into today's time lapse footage. So the first things first we are going back into our uh, log flume to get this all finished off. Um, thank you for all the feedback from the last episode. Um, I th I'm glad you all agree that it looks a little bit better now since we've uh, sort of had a redo. Uh, a few comments said make it look a bit more jungle. Um, so that's what we've done, add a bit more uh, jungle pieces, a bit of overgrown, these vines, that kind of stuff. A few more uh, bits of fauna around the area, uh, just to give it a little bit of uh, a more of a jungle feel. Um, so that's exactly what we've done. Um, so thank you again for the comments, I do take them all on board as I always mention. Um, so yeah, thank you, we'll keep them coming. Um, so that's the first thing we do, just to, to finish off this outside section. Uh, and then we head uh, into the indoor bit, and we actually finish that off today. Um, and get the whole of the, the ride complete and there will be a POV um, of this ride at the end of the video today. Uh, now I still need to do a bit of work on the audio and sound effects and things um, but you'll in the POV you'll, you'll see it's got a bit of music, it's got some triggers uh, and generally it's pretty much finished um, but you'll see that towards the end, well at the end of today's video. Um, the next thing here, um, the first thing I'm doing inside um, a suggestion that um, has been made on the comments quite a number of times. Um, I can't remember who by, I do apologise, but you know who you are. Um, keeps mentioning, put some strobes on the drop uh, as if the camera flash is going off. Uh, and all the way through I thought it was a really great suggestion, really good idea. Um, so that's what we've done here. Uh, it, it gives a really good uh, on-ride effect and also for the boat be uh, sort of behind the boat going down the drop. It looks really impressive as well in the dark. Again, you'll see that in the POV at the end. Um, so thank you for that suggestion, and it's finally in, so you can stop commenting now. It's done. Um, so thank you for that. Um, but I do really, really appreciate all the suggestions. Um, so now we're working into the indoor section, and the idea for this is going to be a little bit more of a creepy end into the ride. Uh, we're using a lot of uh, these kind of jagged vines and, and root pieces, and we're also using a lot of fire. Um, as I did want to get there to be quite a nice fire finale. Um, so as you come down into the drop, uh, all these little vines and, and roots are all going to be uh, somewhat lit on fire. As you'll see in a few seconds, we'll start putting that in uh, to give a really nice effect of uh, throughout the the splash. And as you zoom past all these, it gives a really nice effect as you can quickly pass through the fire. Um, so this is the, the first bit of the scene. This whole finale. Um, sort of revolves around fire. Uh, as I, I love fire, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a pyromaniac in real life. I'm not I like burning stuff down, but I, I just like fire. Um, so that's why I, I like to use it as much as I can. Uh, here, another one of these little statues. Um, this time it's going to have some triggered effects on it. Um, mainly fire, again. There's going to be a lot of that in this. Um, a few more of these roots, just to give the area a little bit of texture. Uh, and the one thing which we have done with this, which I think turns out quite quite nice, we've used a few of the very thin fire effect pieces um, to actually put in the eyes of the statue. Um, so that's the first thing that triggers as the boat comes towards this this section of the ride. Um, so the eyes basically light on fire, and then the statue starts uh, burning from below. Uh, again, it, it turns out quite well. It's quite a nice effect. Uh, and I see there that you put in the little fire eye things. I think it works quite well from a distance. It looks very menacing because um, that is a, a quite a high structure as well in there. Um, so it gives a sort of a really uh, like Im imposing figure that sort of stares at you. And especially with the fire it makes it a little bit uh, a little bit more sinister. And then this is the final turnaround section of the ride before you go back into the station. 
Uh, and what we've done in here is just uh, put in loads of crumbling um, ruin pieces. So remember, this is going back into the tour of the temple now, in terms of the Vide story. Um, so this is where the sort of temple is, is begin to crumble, and it, this is where everything is in ruin. So a lot of fire, uh, a lot of yes, it's in the water. That is is a thing you can do. You can have fire in water. Um, Disney do it a lot in their rides. Um, but generally, the the shock factor at the end here is we've got some explosions and some fire blasts that are triggered as the uh, log goes past. Um, we might put a bit more detail in here. I might come back to it at some point. Uh, I don't know. A bit undecided at the moment. I mean, for now, I think it works quite well as a finale. Um, so that's what we do. We put in, let's say, just the triggers, so the little explosion goes off, and then you've got a fire blast. Uh, it turns out quite well, to be fair. Um, I'm, I'm I'm relatively happy with it. Remember, there's a lot of rides going to be in this park, so I don't want to focus too long on the dark ride sections of these things, because um, I'm not doing like a full-on dark ride park. Um, so bear with me on the rides. Um, and I, I did mention at the start, the rides are pretty much going to take secondary to this park. I want it to be more of a pretty look from the sort of outside point of view, rather than it being ride-centric, which is kind of the opposite to what we did with the Studios Park that we that we built uh, a while ago that was very much based on the rides being the, the main focus and the buildings kind of were just there um, but this one I want it to be just a really pretty park uh, and that's what we do I'm um, just putting in some last if, uh, sound effects and speakers and music and that kind of thing and um, just really putting those final little finishing touches on the, the ride before like I said uh, there is going to be a POV, a POV um, at the very end of this video um, but all in all that's it the log room is pretty much complete we've, we've done it uh, it's took uh, quite a few episodes I do apologize it's, it took as long as it has but um, it's, it's done the, the log room is done um, so next up we are heading uh, over to uh, back outside and I'm putting in now the final finishing touches on the outdoor section um, of Mexico so what we are putting in here is a little bridge um, over from Mexico into the next country um, I know in the last episode I did say um, I'm going to announce the country um, that we are doing next today before I do this bridge. Um, I still haven't decided. I'm so sorry. I know a lot of people out there are like groaning now. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I still haven't decided yet. I think next time we jump into this park and I'll have fresh inspiration, um, we'll uh, yeah we'll start cracking on the next country. But for today, um, I just put in this bridge. Um, it's it's going to be quite a, a high structure, um, uh, as I want it to be quite visual, um, which you'll, you'll see as we get along it. Um, but the actual structure itself, I do want to be relatively uh, imposing, and it is quite a wide bridge as well. As it's, it's quite a, I want there's going to be I think maybe three separate points around this lake where there's going to be a bridge crossing over the water, uh, and then each one is going to be relatively this size. Um, as there, there's going to be a lot of people in this park and it, just imagine if this was Epcot which is what it's based upon there's a lot a lot of people that are walking around so it makes sense to have it quite wide and quite big quite grand and that's what we've done um, so it kind of fits okay-ish with Mexico we like it's wood it's very um, sort of rustic um, which is exactly what I was going for um, so it will fit pretty much any theme really at the other end um, so that's why I th it's not too important that I decided uh, today what country to do um, but I think there's a few options we, we might maybe Italy is an option or France possibly I think are the two that I'm thinking towards um, Britain obviously we will do at some point the UK I don't want to do that just yet um, so I think maybe we'll do quite a small one next so maybe a small France pavilion would be quite nice or something like that um, because then we can sort of have some some bigger, grander ones of walk around this lake. And um, remember, the big plan is to have China um, directly opposite the main entrance. So we could probably maybe fit one or two more countries in this side of the the, the bridge before we get to China. Um, but that's something we'll talk about next time. I think we'll we'll do a bit of a plan uh, in the next episode to sort of have a look how much space we've got and make sure we can still fit all these in. Um, but I, I'm sure we've got plenty of room. I say we've only done two countries so far, so it'll be interesting to see how we get on with the next one. Like I said, it's probably going to be something like France or Italy or something like that. 
um, but I'll announce that next time. So in terms of the pitch then, um, I just wanted to give it a very simple edge, um, which is why we've used this little uh, sort of wooden post type fence on it. Um, it turns out alright. Um, we put a, a little archway over the top of it, a bit of lantern, we we'll put some light in, in, in a few moments, uh, over just across the side, and then we just box it in underneath. Uh, and it turns out okay. Uh, I say it's nothing too spectacular. I don't want it to be um, too amazing in this area. I mean, different. A few of the other countries might have a bit of a grander bridge, um, but in, in terms of its size, it is quite imposing. So it, it does the trick. Uh, and then after we finish off on the bridge, put the last finishing touches in to the Mexico area, and, and it pretty much it's done now. By the end of this video, we are done. The only thing I haven't done, and I will mention it because I bet a few people are wondering. Um, the inside of the pyramid. Um, now I know I did say I'm going to do an interior. Um, I haven't yet. Okay, that is something that I will come back to, but I don't want to dwell too long on each country. I think we've done enough episodes now in Mexico to move on to the next area. So that's what we're going to do. I've finished it enough, so from the outside everything looks relatively finished and complete. Um, but in terms of the actual uh, inside of that pyramid, we will come back to it. I promise you we'll come back to it, but just not at the moment. That's something we'll do um, a little bit towards the end when we're putting the final touches on each area. As I said, I just want to get on to the next country now. Um, so I'm a bit Mexico Mexican out, to be fair. And um, so these last two little buildings that we've put in here um, are more of the Adobe set. Uh, and I think it just fits quite well at the, the bottom end of the little village that we made uh, in the last episode. Um, couple of souvenir stores go in here just a memento in this one uh, and then the balloons go in the bar uh, building um, some berms around the edge a bit more planting trees and we put a bit of greenery around the area um, and I think it turns out quite nice it really does finish off this sort of bottom end uh, and I personally think it, it turns out quite quite nice um, again it, it pulls all the area in now and I use a lot of these sort of forest bushes to encompass the whole area as well. Um, you'll see that in a few moments. Uh, various different rocks of different textures around. Uh, again, just to give um, a bit of depth and texture to the, the, the planting and the groundworks. Again, I think it works quite well. Um, this, is go this is probably one of the only areas in this park that's going to have that kind of rustic, overgrown feel. Um, most of the countries are going to be very pristine um, but Mexico was the only one that wanted to give that sort of village atmosphere uh, and that's why we've gone for the sort of dead bush kind of look mixed in with the greenery um, but most of the area is going to be a bit more orchestrated a bit like the planting we did at the, the main entrance and in uh, America is a, is a lot more planned um, but that was the sort of feel I was going for in this, this area if you, just in case anyone was wondering and so here, like I said, just finishing off the um, far side of Mexico, um, just near where we've put in that little waterfall viewing area. Uh, using some of the forest bushes, uh, I just wanted to break up the eyesight from this, this area here, when you're up on that high platform. Um, I just wanted to be really conscious of how much you can see of the rest of the park, because um, obviously when you're within each area, I do want you to feel quite immersed. So I don't want everywhere to sort of look from one point and be able to see like I don't know China in the distance um, so that's one thing we have uh, done just there then the last few little bits and pieces just finishing up the Mexico area and here's a, a sort of an overview of the whole zone uh, and I hope you guys agree I think it's turned out quite nice I think it's um, hopefully representing it in a, in a good light um, but feel free to let me know down below in the comments if you if you if you still think there could be some work to do any improvements you could make um, but yeah let me know I'm, I'm open to all suggestions uh, and, and constructive feedback so I'm gonna leave you now with a few little slow-mo shots around the area uh, and then to, at the end of the video we are I'll show you the POV of the log flume so thank you ever so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next episode don't forget to give us a like down below subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and if you want to have a chat, jump on to our Discord server. The link is in the description. Um, but for now, guys, thank you ever so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye.